We are back. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Today, we are heading over to my friend Chris's house. He has a 335 that is rather built. Uh, well, it's definitely built. It's got a it's got a large turbo on it, a bunch of fueling stuff. It's a, it's a sick build. He's actually been on the channel once before briefly, but Chris has some really cool stuff that he's doing to his car. He's already done some really neat stuff to it, but he's got big plans for the future on this car. He does all of his work himself in his garage. I just think it's a, it's a super unique F30 build that you guys should check out. Me trying to shift and vlog. One thing with manual. Oh, is it? <laughs> Yes. So Chris has a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna link that down below called Forced Inductions. Chris knows his stuff. For example, when I got my diverter valve, uh, I didn't really know a whole lot about it. I did some digging around on Google about the TurboSmart diverter valve and his video actually came up on his channel. Super educational and he knew exactly what he was talking about. So I learned a lot more about the diverter valve basically through Chris. So if you guys are interested in F30 content, uh, 335 builds, big turbo builds, anything like that, check out Chris's channel. So we are headed over to Chris's house right now. It actually turns out he's super close to me, like three miles. We've had a little bit of coffee. I guess it's a good time to open up those valves. Yeah, yeah, I hear you guys. John, you gotta do the full screen Apple CarPlay. I know, I have the stuff to do it. Just haven't taken the time to actually do it. <laughs> We're getting close to Chris's place. I'll see you guys over there. All right, you guys, we have just entered Chris's garage, uh, beautiful garage, if I might say so myself, but we have his 335 here. This is Chris. Chris, welcome back to the channel. He's been on once before. I was over at LJ's house. Uh, you guys know him as No Clutch Garage, and he was actually installing his springs on his setup. Before we hop into the car and everything, take a look at this garage setup, absolute goals, dude. <laughs> it's beautiful in here, really nice lighting, air conditioning. For someone like me who comes from like a 100 degree garage, this is uh, fantastic. So we're gonna get into talking about Chris's car in a little bit here. Uh, it's beautiful, mineral gray, 2015, 2015 F30, 335 X drive, which I didn't know. And we're gonna kinda tell you a little bit about the car, talk about all the parts he has on it, his future plans, and then of course go for a ride. Before we hop into the video, I just wanna tell you guys to make sure you go subscribe to his channel. It's gonna be linked down below. Super educational videos. Uh, Chris and I kinda come from the same background, working on cars, imports, all that stuff. And he knows his stuff. He's doing everything himself to this car. So make sure you check his channel out. I wanna first talk about the exterior of your car. Um, why don't we just talk front to back, kinda of tell me what you have going on, um, all the carbon bits and all that. Cool, yes, yeah, so um, so far um, in the front end, I've just tinted my headlights, which I'm experimenting with. Um, mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. Um, we got a various front lip coming from our friends at Souvenir, thanks to uh, my buddy Thick. The wheels, um, they actually VMR 
It's a custom color they offer called uh, Sunken Treasure. It's like a greenish bronze. Kind of hard to see their true color, but in the daylight it actually shows better. Mm -hmm. um, I actually went with the uh, M Performance Brake Kit and uh, the M Performance Rotors. They're actually dimpled and slotted. You installed all that stuff yourself, right? Yeah, yep. I have videos where I install the brake kit, all that good stuff. I don't know how well the color comes across of these wheels, but they're actually really cool. Like, they're super unique. They're like an olive with like a tan. Definitely a color that I've never seen in person on a mineral, but the, the combo works really well. And I, it's like when, when I first met you, Chris, yeah. I was like, that is such an interesting combo. Yeah. But I really like the setup, especially with the red, the, the red brakes. He's got the same, basically the same brake setup that I have on my car. Obviously this car didn't come with that, but he basically retrofitted that big brake kit onto his car. Right. So done the right way, OEM, looks fantastic. I'm sure it works really well too. Absolutely. Yeah, and then I got plans for the 437s uh, just to have as a, as a everyday wheel. Um, love these wheels, but I also love the 437s. Uh, they look great. Mm -hmm. um, got carbon side skirts, which yep. just recently made a video on. Um, I used the gloss black mirror cap just because it ties into the gloss black. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's where I went with that. Did a high kick spoiler on the back. Kind of got an idea from... It's the PSM style. Yeah, from John when he did his. Uh, have the diffuser with the rain light. Uh, also another great idea for John's. 100 millimeter tips from Amer uh, Active Auto Work with the axle back exhaust. Yeah, they're massive. <laughs> they're so, I remember seeing those too when I first met you there. Yeah. A yeah. fist. <laughs> yeah. A fist to fit in there. Tinted rear uh, lights again. Just yep kind of adding to the mineral. And there's two mineral grays. This one has the purple undertone. There's a one with a green undertone. So in the, in the outside, it, it, you see a very strong purple undertone. Oh, I didn't know that. I did end up tinting these, which I might go with the colored ones. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's this IND has them colored. Yeah, paint match. Mm -hmm. So that, that might be the future. Um, just need to make sure they have the right color match because usually the purple undertone is really hard to find. What is your tint setup? People love to know like sure. the percentages and everything. So 15, and it looks darker just because the car is darker, right? 15% all the way around. And I didn't get my windshield done, but, but I'm going to. In South Carolina, you can pretty much do whatever you want to your car. <laughs> you can literally ride with three wheels if you have it. So um, I'm gonna do the windshield next, um, just because I, I it's, it's gonna tie in. Yeah, well. it makes a big difference, man. Yeah. So you have 15, huh? 15. Okay, so I'm at 20. This actually uh, it actually looks really good, though. Yeah. It's like a good dark. Nice and dark. It'll you want to make it functional. Yeah. So you don't want it to go too dark. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So no, it's a good medium. Yeah, and that's the outside. So that's pretty much everything for the outside. What? Uh, let's talk about the meat and potatoes. All right. So, <laughs> uh, started with a stage two kit, a run 30% uh, ethanol. Mm -hmm. We made 381 wheel horsepower on the dyno, which I was really actually happy with with the N55. And just to clarify, this is this is stock turbo, stock everything except for bolt-ons bolt and E30. So ethanol 30%, okay. very low uh, ethanol. That seems to be I. I know a few people who have ran like the same mm -hmm. setup and that seems to be about the number. It is, yeah. Um, it, it's usually, that's if you're using the same type of dyno, usually they almost all come out the same. Mm -hmm. um, they were, N55 is really blueprinted pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, so then we got tired of the power, that's what happens, yep. and we went into some modifications. I started with, obviously, the we had a, a intake, we had full bolt-on, downpipe, charge pipe, all that good stuff. And then we went to a big boost 3.4 kit, which is capable of making 800 horsepower. Of course, this is an N55, so because we don't have internals yet, we're limiting that down to around 600, 650 with uh, limited torque. Yep. Um, so with the big boost kit, which I'm gonna make in another video and I'm explaining to you guys in it right now, comes a lot of supporting parts. It's not just buy a big turbo, a complete turbo, and there you go. It's actually turbo kit. We have a catch can blow off valve you know the turbo smart which john actually recently put on his vehicle we've got fuel pump we got a low pressure stage three with just two pumps uh it's, it's a stock pump and at 15 pounds of boost our, my 525 hellcat walbro turns on and that's turned on by a pressure switch so this senses 15 psi and and makes a grounded um jump and then it turns on my second fuel pump wow um, we also have the FX150 down here, which is my high pressure fuel pump. 
and that produces about 2800 uh, psi of pressure for my fuel so yep that little red thing right there is a fx 150. we're running a, a t-map sensor from an n20 just a stock n20 which recognizes a lot more boost than our stock ones do they go over 22 and a half pounds they go higher like 30 pounds mm -hmm. so we have a three and a half bar sensor we also have port injection so i run full e85 and I have uh, 12 injectors essentially, six direct injected and six port injection. It's a black market parts. It's under my intake manifold, so you really can't see it. And what's nice about port injection is you don't have to get the walnut cleaning because ethanol will clean mm -hmm. those for you. ports yeah. for you. Making good power so far. We're gonna go to uh, a dyno soon and see where we're at. Mm -hmm. Wedge Performance is tuning it and we're just trying to get the bugs worked out because Above 22 and a half PSI right now, I'm having uh, blow off issues where pipes are actually coming off. <laughs> um, so with, with that, we're actually making a custom pipe and I'll show you guys that. Um, it's gonna change that down, that U pipe that has the blow off to a tile, a tile blow off, which is gonna go similar to here. Which is like a much more stout. Yeah, and the, the two and a half inch pipe's gonna take a lot more boost through it than mm -hmm. the, the smaller pipe. Yep. So it's not gonna blow off on me. Some people never have that problem. Some people do. It's just a matter of working out the kinks. It's a kit, it's not like perfect. Mm -hmm. So we understand that and we're just trying to work out some stuff. So under here, I have my AIC controller, which you can see right here. That's what controls my six other injectors. Ah, uh, okay, cool. That's wired into T-Map and all that good stuff for, for, for it to know. This has got, it. man, it's quite the setup. As far as your exhaust, are you running, what kind of downpipe? And So the downpipe's a custom downpipe from Big Boost. Okay. It's just a big, I think it's four inch outlet to a three inch outlet. Mm -hmm. Then your uh, stock exhaust all the way through to my axle back, which is okay. active auto work. Um, I so you have, have resonators in the, in the center? Yeah, yeah, I don't, uh, for me, uh, I like uh, sound to be good, not necessarily yeah. loud. Yeah. So it does have resonators. Um, mm -hmm. It's all really personal preference, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. I actually have an active auto work intercooler as well. So my, uh, oh, okay. my uh, temperatures are really low, like 100 is my max on the intercooler. Mm -hmm. For the future, we're gonna do an uh, all aluminum intake manifold that's coming soon uh, from probably Phoenix is probably the one I'm gonna use. Uh, we're gonna do aftermarket injectors and coils, and then uh, build the motor, which um, there's two options right now that I'm thinking about. One is uh, build closed deck S50, I mean, N55, mm -hmm. or just go to the S55. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm kind of waiting on my options, getting some information, getting some of my, my coding guys to let me know what I need, and then we'll make a decision from there. So this will eventually go from 650 horsepower to 800 plus. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm thinking about seeing what we can do for as far as uh, maybe record breaking one yeah, day. For sure. One day, who knows? 800 plus. <laughs> I'm sitting over here like I'm just biting at the beginning of fours and this dude's looking at possibly 800 plus in the future. I'm going for more functional than like, I don't want to be a trend center, I just want to be functional. Yeah, And that's going to be sure. my functionality. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah. Good power, reliability, exactly. still drive it when you want. Absolutely. You know, it yep. doesn't have to be trailered into places. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I want. And yeah. went, right now the way she is, I can drive her wherever I want. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not on the gas, you don't even feel it. So yeah. it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Well, we're going to go for a little drive, uh, experience this car. I'm actually really excited. This is probably probably one of the, well, no, it will be the most built um, F30 that I've ever been in personally. So, Dude, such a cool little setup at his garage. He's got like a pond over here. His house is back here. And then he's got this beautiful garage. This is just goals, dude. Little section for race gas. Cabinets are nice. Workout area. So sick. And the lighting is really good. <laughs> That sounds really good. Yeah, she will tone down. Is this a GT GTS roar? Oh, you have the GTS roar on? It's a, a, a type of. It's more of a custom. Um. Before we go anywhere, yeah. dude, your interior setup is like so clean. Thank you. He's got the M Performance Alcantara trim. This is all blacked out, sport shifter, dry carbon. Like this is extremely well done. He's got the shifters. He's got GoPro mount. Obviously, you know, he's out <laughs> here doing craziness. <laughs> I love it, man. 
Dang, all dry carbon, huh? Yeah. And it came with that? No, so I went with the dry carbon kit. It's actually a $900 upgrade, but yeah. it's it's so worth it to me. Like, yeah. I love Alcantara. Yeah. Uh, the first time I seen Alcantara was in a Type R Integra. Uh -huh. they, they literally made that whole car Alcantara inside. Yeah. And I loved it ever since, so it's kind of went that. Yeah, oh, I love it. It's really nice. It stays clean, too. Yeah, for sure. We were talking a little bit about his turbo setup and kind of like how it comes on with the boost. It's uh, it's a little bit later, right? Yeah. But hits you really hard. Right, yeah. So it's a little laggier than your small conventional turbos because they're, they spool up so fast. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's twice the size, so it takes a little longer to spool. Mm -hmm. But once it spools, you really feel the power. And again, we're still working out uh, a tune, so mm -hmm. we're not even at the final tune yet. The final tune is going to produce 650 to the wheels, and right now we're somewhere in the high fives, uh, maybe low sixes. So okay. we'll know more when we dyno it. So you're, you said you're tuning with Wedge. Are you yes. using like an MHD platform to tune with them? Or That's how are, right. So okay. yeah, we use MHD platform uh, mm -hmm. through Wedge, and. Um, that's pretty much the reason I want MHD from Boot Mod is just because of the gauges. It was yep. more I can see more, and this does have the XHP on it, so it's oh, okay, yeah. transmission tune because mm -hmm. it's just so much torque it has to have it. Are you are you in all wheel drive right now? It's always in all wheel drive. Okay. I do not. I have X Delete. I hate it, and the only reason why is because once you go all wheel drive, you feel that power mm -hmm. and if you feel the way it works mm -hmm. rear wheel drive because the cars are so torque limiting mm -hmm. even when you turn off uh, all traction control off they still traction control so and for that reason i'm out <laughs> yeah no i hear you the in general just like cruising around the car is really smooth yeah oh what suspension do you have we didn't even so i got the that. h and r springs okay um just sports yeah, they're, I, I felt like they're, I mean, you know, just to try them out, I was gonna go coilovers eventually, but no, honestly, these are great. I, I like it. Yeah. Turbo rips. Wow, that's impressive. Holy so crap. Again, we're not we're not even at our final no, destination. You're not. <laughs> okay. I don't know if they can hear the sound through here, but the like the turbo spool yeah. sound is freaking mental, bro. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fun, you know? That's Dude, I just, all I can think about is like if I had this on my car. That's all I can think about. That's like, the problem. Oh my God. I love turbos. And you know what I also really like is that like you're, like you said before, like your exhaust isn't ridiculously loud. No, like you can like is. hear the engine in the turbo. Yeah. Like it sounds really good yeah. and like clean. I'm an old dude. I'm, I, I used to like loud. And, you know, my Integra was screaming. We're old dudes. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to the point where my dude, my car is freaking loud. No, it, at least I have the valves. <laughs> Dude. It scares me. <laughs> it's freaking mental. <laughs> it scares me sometimes. What gear did we get up to? Uh, I think that was all. We just hit fourth gear. Bro, that is ridiculous. Um, so Chris uh, had mentioned that he is good. He's gonna actually gonna let me drive this car. Yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat and just feel feel it. Like I just got done driving my M2, so it's obviously gonna feel way way better or way different, I guess you should say. And then um, and then after we go for a little drive with me driving. And we experience it. He's gonna do a uh, a, bit, a dig, a basically a launch. And um, and if we blow pipes, well, yeah. at least we're <laughs> nearby the home. So <laughs> yeah. different. Just step on it, dude. Just send it all the way down. <laughs> How's it feel from the driver's seat? Different, dude. Yeah, it's <laughs> way different. She, that third gear it rocks, doesn't it? And then Is from that, then on. Like, like yeah, so the second it. gear, it, it has such high torque that it's scared to like almost drop it straight into second gear. So Dude, it almost I, like... I honestly thought that like the torque wouldn't be as good, but it feels <laughs> Oh, no, the There's torque like, is there. Yeah. But right now, I'm, I re I'm really happy with this car. Like I really wouldn't change anything about it uh, besides, you know, just the stuff that I know I'm going to do later. Yeah. Just send it, bro. that that 
fourth gear is ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah. Third and fourth oh, really pull, but I gotta say, they don't stop. They keep pulling that it, No, hard. it just keeps It'll going. It'll go to one, whatever, yeah. 160 all the way. Like See, that. that's like my car just kind of, it shits the bed. Like we get to a certain small point. Small turbos. It's, it's just like, it's small turbos. We're done working today. Yeah. Like this thing just keeps going. I gotta say like pure, the pure upgrade for your car would be awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. Or maybe a, like a nice gear. I, I gotta say Speed yeah. Tech makes amazing turbo kits for all of our cars. This, right, so, so this is from a dig. So first we turn traction control off. All right. We step on the gas, build up 3,000. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. No wonder everyone does the, it goes with the all wheel drive. When they're, I mean, it just, it's, it's ridiculous. How it hooks it, like yeah. so hard. Such a fun car, dude. <laughs> you guys know where to come if you're looking for F30 content. I think Chris and I are gonna make a bunch more videos in the future too. It's a good little spot. Well, dude, I enjoyed this. Thank you again for coming on and um, just bringing me over to your house and showing me all your stuff and your car and of course letting me drive it. Like, dude, that's just awesome. It's a very impressive build and I'm excited to see the future of it. You guys, uh, please make sure to subscribe to Chris's channel. He's working really hard on it and his content is super educational and he knows how to work on cars way more than I do, which I find really impressive and just, like I said, educational. So Chris, thank you again, man. I appreciate you. You guys will see him soon on the channel as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. Just like that, we're over. Peace.